All right, well, how about this? No washing dishes if you go out to eat, or perhaps you want to take this recipe and try it at home. Our Andy Wynn on the search for some of the greatest recipes and bites in Dallas. Take a look at this one, lamb tartare. Good morning. Hi, I'm Brian Zinner. Welcome to uh, AT&T Discovery District. Ounce uh, by Brian Zinner. We're on the second floor at the exchange and we're going to make for you our lamb tartare with green olive harissa today. We always start with a cold plate. That way our lamb tartare is nice and cold. We'll be using Nyman Ranch lamb, about three ounces. We're going to dress it with our green olive harissa, which is green olive, chili, onions, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of lemon and herbs. So green olive, harissa, some finely diced preserved lemon, our fine herbs, which is parsley, tarragon, chive, and dill. And we're gonna add a little olive oil, a little bit of sea salt, and then we're just gonna toss all that. So the green olive harissa, salty, definitely garlic and onion, and a little heat from the chilies. We use serrano chilies. And the preserved lemons add a bright, citrusy, salty note. Also that accompanies it is uh, our salted cucumber, which are cucumbers that have been peeled, seeded, and then we slightly salt overnight. And then we'll also add the same thing to the onion. They've been salted overnight too. They get our yogurt vinaigrette, and the yogurt vinaigrette is uh, Greek yogurt, distilled white vinegar, and a little pinch of sugar and salt. That's gonna get finished with a few herbs, the same fiend herb mix. And then we're gonna serve this lamb tartare and onion yogurt with some grilled sourdough bread. We get this from a local company, La Casita, here in town. And we're just gonna dress it with a little olive oil and grill it. If you don't have a grill at home, absolutely just toasting the bread um, in an oven, in a toaster, works great. We like the char that we get from the grill. It gives it a little more rustic, a little more uh, authentic vibe to the bread. Now that the bread's toasted, we're just gonna go ahead and plate it. So we like it a very rustic look here, nothing too fancy. We top that with a little olive oil. Crushed Marcona almonds, which are a Spanish almond. You could use any almond. We cut the bread in little triangles, but obviously any piece would work, any shape. Lamb tartare at ounce. Yes. So yes, I mean, if you're into tartare, some people just the idea that it's raw, but you know, the acids and the other things you put in it in that recipe do kind of give it a little bit of texture beyond raw meat. So keep that in mind. If you're interested in the tartare, try Yolanda's it. Yolanda's struggling over here. I, I knew Yolanda would not time. be fully buying oh, into this. No. Even we if need I need to get that black cast iron skillet out of the dishwasher <laughs> and cook that <laughs> lamb. I'm going to say it again. Not. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -mm. With your brittle old wooden spoon you put in there too. Um, no, I that was me. <laughs> Sorry. It's a bit of it's a bit of an acquired taste, I will say. 